Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to Medical Mass, your favorite medicine and business channel here on Medical Mass. If you're here for the first time, welcome to the family. If you're here for the fifth, sixth, hundred time, welcome back. If you're here for the first time and you still don't know what this is about, you came across this video because I don't know what you were doing on YouTube, and you were like, oh, okay, let's just click it. She looks like she's doing something. We'll set her for a like. Let's get into today's video. As you can see, guys, today I'm going to be talking about how to apply for internship in Tanzania. I have a little disclaimer. Guys, I'm going to go all motherly on you. If you're here on this channel, this is a channel that gives you information. This channel is built or the emphasis or the niche of this channel is to give information to those that need it. I am just a deliverer. Mm, the Lord is working through me. Guys, don't be stingy with information. If you come across something or a video that helps someone you know, share the information. It's not going to stop your blessings. What is meant for you is already manifesting and coming your way. So don't stop because you feel like someone is going to prosper before you do. It's okay. It's a circle of life. We're all going to be um, in our own journeys and our own paths if we just follow them. With that being said, let's get into the video. This video is meant for those that want to do their internship in Tanzania. So like myself, I did internship in Tanzania in 2021 and finished in 2022. Thank God. Hey, man. <laughs> so um, internship in Tanzania is only a year. It's not like other countries where it's like a year, it's like two years or two years and a half. No, in Tanzania, it's just a year. So you're going to go on the website um, called... Uh, the medical council of Tanganyika. So Tanganyika is is the mainland and Zanzibar is the island. Um, together they make Tanzania. Okay, they used to be separate. However, now since 2021, I think they are now working together. You only apply through the medical council of Tanganyika. Before you could just apply straight to the Zanzibar medical council, but that's no longer an option. So with that being said, you're going to go on the website go at the bottom where it says news and announcements when you get to that part you're going to see a part that's written pre-internship examination look through i repeat look through the requirements that are there i wanted to specify when i did internship the certificate of swahili proficiency wasn't a factor however as the years have progressed it has become a factor and one of the reasons why is there's a certain number of interns that went to this specific hospital um, and this hospital was not keen on having foreigners uh, treat their patients because they were like, how can you treat a patient without someone knowing Swahili? That's not, um, that's not understandable. However, they started requiring these certificates. There's some hospitals that don't care about it. I would encourage you guys to have it in hand before you go. I don't want you guys getting into issues where you are returned to your country because you don't have these certificates. Trust me, some of the people in charge are really hard headed. There's also now a nectar verification for your advanced and ordinary level. So make sure you go through that. I don't know how really that process works, but I think it's the same as the TCU, which is your Tanzania Commission Univer of Commissions of Universities, which is the first step you need to take. You need to get your degree verified by the Tanzania Commission of Universities. When you type it in, they will you will see where you have to submit your forms. You have to. Um, scan your documents upload them on that website they'll give you a control number and you pay your fee i think it's like 30 30 i'll put the links in the uh, in the description box below so that you guys just click on and go straight to these um these websites that i'm talking about so that's something you need to have and you guys don't be scared to ask questions i actually am a person who's done internship in tanzania so if you have questions feel free to ask so after applying what's next going to sit for your conversion exams like i've said 
if you guys need any information on how to prepare for conversion exam let me know in the comments down below or you can uh, contact me privately on my email or on my instagram after passing you're going to get a link that's going to open up all the hospitals that provide internship in tanzania so you only have a limited amount or limited access to these hospitals they quickly get full for example muhimbili uh, national hospital is one of the most targeted hospitals second one is aga khan again it takes a small number of people so each hospital will be put uh, in the bar or in the in the boxes to choose from will indicate the number of interns they want for that specific year so you have to be quick you have to have good internet access so that you can get it but it is first come first serve so if you don't make it on time you're not going to get the hospital of your choice that's something that can happen to you you can eventually go to a hospital that you didn't even choose in the first place it worked out for me it might not work out for you or it might also work out for you it all depends so that's another factor that you guys have to understand so after that you're going to get the hospital of your choice or if you don't you're gonna the you're gonna be given the hospitals that are remaining and then you're gonna go there and start your internship i continue to specify this if you're a foreigner and you still don't know swahili by the time you start your internship it's all right i went to tanzania not knowing anything other than habariako and that was it so if you've got into this part of the video i love that for you and thank you so much for supporting this channel next time peace bye